In hopes that their son would be able to smile, blink, eat, and speak normally, Danielle and Charlie put their trust in Dr. Panosian's hands. Today we're doing Maddox's facial reanimation surgery. Getting ready to start the case with our first incision on the right side. So we're getting the skin flap off of the muscle layer. He's so young that he's got these virgin tissues, very nice planes of tissue to work with. We're digging out the posterior half of this muscle now, defining what's the muscle and what's not. So we're deep in the face now. We're on top of the tendon of the temporalis, heading down into the cheek. Uh, now I'm creating a tunnel for the tendon. And we're gonna pull the tendon through to the lip. The tendon insertion isolated, and we're gonna stimulate it so we see it contract. What I'm gonna do now is put some anchoring stitches on the corner of the lip where the new smile will be. Those will grip onto the tendon itself from the temporalis so that when the temporalis contracts, the lip where it's attached to, the anchoring points, will move as well, creating a smile. This is technically where the muscle would live if he didn't have facial paralysis. So as I'm grabbing it and pulling it, I'm seeing that it's doing what a normal lip muscle would have otherwise done, which is to pull up the lip. So we've done the one side, so we're gonna move on to the other side. Bring this tendon through, strip the bone off it, and anchor it to the lip. This is a, sort of a critical spot. This is where the blood vessel and the nerve for the muscle come out. But right around that corner, is the brain is sitting right inside a very thin shell. We've anchored the muscles in, and we're gonna put this drain tube in and a small irrigation catheter, and then finish the closing. Join us now are Maddox's mom, Danielle, and pediatric plastic surgeon, craniofacial and reconstructive specialist, Dr. Andre Panosian. Welcome. <laughs> Dr. and my friend, <laughs> impressive <laughs> surgery. But going into it, how, how confident were you about what you were going to achieve and, and, and the ultimate result? Well, I was very confident we would definitely be able to improve Maddox's ability to not only smile, but the other aspects that come with smiling or facial movement, such as being able to swallow and potentially improve speech a little bit as well. And Danielle, as a mom, how is it going? What did this mean to you? What did it mean to Maddox? Oh, I wish I could explain how grateful and how thankful we are that this man came into our lives. It has improved Maddox's life so much. And although our smiles always started from our heart, in this case, Maddox's smile started with Dr. Panosian's heart. And I can't ever thank him enough <laughs> for giving us that. I still remember like it was yesterday having Maddox on the stage. And uh, I have to say, I am excited to have him back out on the stage. What do you all think? Can yeah. we bring Maddox out? <laughs> Come on out, Maddox. Hi. We are so happy that we were able to have you on the show, Maddox, because you're, you're a fan favorite. There you go. <laughs> And Dr. Bozian, just thank you so much for offering your services. Oh. My pleasure. <laughs> well, best of luck, Danielle. Thank you so much. No, thank yeah. you. You guys have changed our lives. Thank you so much. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful young man. More to come.